Thank you, Jesus. Sit on the throne. You are welcome to church. You are welcome to church. Somebody say, I need settlement. God will settle you today. Thank you, Jesus. Have you asked yourself why you are in the church? You are in the church to get divine information from God. And this divine information will help you to know who you are and your position in the world. Some people are confused. They don't know their stand. They don't know who they are. But as you are coming to church, as you are hearing the word of God, you are trying to know who you are and your position in the world and before God. Because the divine information is the word of God. The word of God is the spirit of God. So the word of God directs your soul for you to know what you believe and who you believe. If you live your life with the word, if you build your soul with the word of God, you will have faith in God. Your faith in, in God is the spirit of God in you. Because faith comes by hearing Hearing the word of God, which is the spirit of God. As you are hearing it, you are building your soul. And your soul will be filled with the word of God. Anytime, any day. When problems come, challenges come, you have the strength to overcome them one after the other. Because challenges must surely come. You are in the world, you are a child of God, you are a believer, you are not a believer. You must face challenges. That's how God made it to be. Today, you are facing your own problems, your own challenges. Problems come every day. Any problem that disturbs you and keeps you uncomfortable, that problem is keeping you in captive. That problem is holding you in captive. So when that problem is holding you in captive, it means that you are in the captive of evil spirits. Because there is no problem that comes anyhow just like that. Anything that is happening to you physically, must surely happen to you spiritual. Whether you see it in your dream, whether you don't see it, it comes spiritually. So what I'm trying to tell you right now is that your problems, they came through the breeze of the demons. Yeah, they came through the breeze of the demons. Whenever the wind blows, it blows with good spirits and it blows sometimes with bad spirits. It comes through the air. And when you are empty, what makes you empty? You have the of God in your life. When there is no word of God in your life, you are empty. Because as you are listening to the gospel right now, somebody has to retain it in your heart. Don't hear and drop it and go. Allow the word to be part of you. The word is the spirit of God that will equip you in time of danger. King David said, Yet though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, for the Lord is with me. I fear no evil. For the rod and the staff, 
there with me. The word of God, I hold it. For God is a spirit, I cannot see God. But what I have in me, what I have packed from the servants of God, from the church of God, I kept them in my life. I don't want to be loosed. I don't want to be empty. Because whenever I am empty, when the wind blows, the breeze of the demon will attack you because you are empty. The wind of the, the breeze of the demon will blow and enter into you and cause you problems. People's problem or problems come from spiritual before it will manifest physically. What you are suffering today is not just like that. It started in spirit and it is manifesting in your life spiritually, physically. Diabolic men, wicked men, evil men that are spiritually inclined, that visit evil men, they use the breeze to attack you as a child of God. You call yourself, but you don't have the word in you. The attack must surely come, like I said, problems will come. But when problems come to you and see that you are loaded with the word of God, problem will come and go. But when the problem comes and sees that you are empty, the problem will never leave you. Because your body is what he, he wants and what the place he likes to stay. Because there is no spirit of God in you. The breeze of demons cause poverty into your life. When the breeze blows, you are confused. You don't want to do business again like our spiritual director was directing us and admonishing us that you continue doing business, whether rain or sun, focus and do business and have money. So if the breeze of demon blows into your life, it will make you to go and sleep. That the weather is not bright. I'm not going for business today. I have occasion to attend. I have events to attend than my business. And you think that you are doing well, but you are losing a lot. The wind of the breeze of the demons will dry your pockets. You eat the ones you have and become empty. When the breeze of demon blows into your life, when you are empty, it makes you to run mad. You are confused. You are in a state, on the state of dilemma. You don't think well. You don't know what to do at the right time again. You don't have self-control. You don't compose yourself. You don't comport yourself. You don't know the things that you're supposed to do at the right time because you are empty. What am I saying? Do not allow the breeze to blow. The breeze of the demons to destroy you. Have the word of God. Receive the word of God. This demon will make you to, will cause anxiety into your life. Later too, you become afraid because you are empty. The word of God is not in you that can tell you that this is nothing, that can overshadow the evil condition around you. The wind and the breeze, the breeze of the demons will make you to feel depressed. You are not happy, you are always angry. You are digging your grave whenever you are angry. You are shortening your life. People that are annoying you, they are living long. And you that they are annoying, you are digging your grave because you are not happy. Because your happiness is your long life. When you are not happy, you are digging your grave. You will die. What am I saying? Build up your spirit with the word of God to face the demons on earth. All the attacks you are seeing is they are not ordinary. They that come from your paternal home, they see you that you are like your fathers, you are like your mothers. That is why it is controlling you. But when you are different, when you occupy your heart with the word of God and become a different entity, a special entity, they will come and go because they will never gain you. That is why you come to the family, you see a believer's life, it's too different from unbelievers life. Being a believer is not by talking, but it's by action. What you have in you, what you have in you, and that thing you have in you will control your life step by step, everything you do. So people of God, 
you don't need to be empty, but equip your heart with the word of God so that you'll be strong and face every challenge that will come to you. Somebody say, I am strong. I am strong. Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 21. I read for church. Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for the Lord God, for the Lord thy God is among you, a mighty God and terrible. 22. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little. Thou mayest not consume them at worst, lest the breast of the field increase upon thee. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying something right now. He said that you, somebody say, I, I shall not be afraid. You shall never be afraid because you have God. All these powers that are holding you in captive, they are not stronger than God. But they are gaining your souls because you are empty. But when you have God in your life, having God in your life is you. Having the word of God in your life. These powers will attack you and they will never succeed. For attack, they will attack you, but they will never succeed. All the powers of darkness you are saying I mentioned and those that I couldn't mention right now. The ancestral powers that are attacking you, familiar causes that are following you as a young lady, that power in you says that you never live with a man. You never have your own children. You come to a family, you see people. Ladies, they marry and come back. Some will give birth, some, no, some will not give birth. Some will not even marry. It is not the will of God that all these ladies in this family will not marry. But it is because they allow themselves to be used by the power of darknesses. By familiar causes. They have not sorted out what they have, they have not sorted out the problems in their lives. You see, young men, most of them are drunk. They are drunk cats. They cannot do business. They cannot reason well. They are, the power, the familiar cause is holding them in that family that nobody should do well. Listen to what the Lord is telling you right now. He said, these powers of darkness, these evil powers you see, they are not stronger than me. I am God Almighty. They are not stronger than me. It's only that you give them gap to manipulate into your life. Boss, do not be afraid. I am here for you. I will fight them one after the other. I will walk on those evil powers that are against you, on your challenges of life, on your problems, one after the other. God will do it through his servants, through his prophets. He will use him to deliver you one after the other from the powers of darkness, from old nature, from old powers, from ancestral powers, ancestral powers against your life that said that you will never make life. He will deliver you from evil activities. He will never allow those powers to overshadow you. He will lose you from the bondage of evil spirits. He will deliver you from initiation spirits. He will deliver you from marine kingdom. He will deliver you from evil powers, from evil oppressors, from evil manipulations. All those men that are manipulating your destiny today, God will take care of their lives. He will take care of their lives. He will take them out of your way. He will push those problems out of your life. You will push those problems out of your life, out of your marriage, out of your career, out of your health. He will condemn that demon in your life today. He will never have power over you again. Diseases will never have power over your life. Poverty will never have power over your life. 
anxiety will never take control of your life. You will never be depressed. You will always be alert. You will make life. You will do business. God will control your affairs. You will never cry. You will never mourn. You will never weep. You will make life this season. The Lord will settle your cases. He will settle your police case. He will settle your hospital case. He will settle your court case. He will do you well. He will make you happy. He will make your family happy. He will settle your children. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. You join me to welcome our...